Zabel Yesayan was born on the night of February the 4th, 1878, as Zabel Hovanesyan, in the Uskudar Skutari neighborhood of Istanbul. Attending Armenian schools, including the Subhaj Holy Cross Elementary School in her neighborhood of Uskudar. In 1895, due to a lack of higher education options for females in the Ottoman Empire, she moved to Paris, where she studied literature and philosophy at the Sorbonne University in Paris, France. Inspired by the French Romantic movement and the 19th century revival of Armenian literature in the Western Armenian, she began what would become a prolific writing career. Her first prose poem, Ode to the Night, appeared in Arshak Chobanyan's periodical Tariq Flower in 1895. Her other works addressed issues related to lower class minority women in France. She went on to publish short stories, literary essays, articles and translations in both French and Armenian. She's among the first women to introduce the word feminism in the Armenian language. Yesayan returned to Istanbul after the Young Turk Revolution of 1908. From this moment on, her feminist writings began focusing on the Armenian community. Her message was for the Armenian women to become a participant of Armenian public life and not to be confined to the walls of domestication and family. As a result of other works, like the novella The Curse and the short stories Safiye and the New Bride, she became a respected member of the Armenian literary and intellectual class. On April 24, 1915, Yesayan fled the Ottoman Empire, as she found herself as the only woman on the list of Armenian intellectuals targeted for arrest and deportation. She was able to evade arrest and flee to Bulgaria, and then to the Caucasus, where she worked with refugees documenting the right witness accounts of atrocities that had taken place during the Armenian Genocide. The first ever published genocide testimonies were written by her. In 1918, Yesayan found herself in the Middle East organizing the relocation of refugees and orphans. During the post-genocide period and the Sovietization of Armenia, Zabel gradually readdresses many of her earlier political leanings, where she exposes the many injustices she witnessed tackling some of the political issues of the Armenian world at the time. In 1934, she began teaching French and Armenian literature at Yerevan State University and continued to write prolifically, publishing The Shirt of Fire and her autobiographical book, The Gardens of Silidar. During the Great Purges, she was accused of nationalism and arrested in 1937. After moving from prison to prison during the Stalin purges, she is said to have written her last work from a Baku prison and passed away shortly after in 1943 on her way to Siberia. Zabel Yesayan is celebrated today for her achievements in literature and more famously for her strides within the feminist movement as a prolific Armenian novelist.